You know what it is, your boy Trent set a sense. Of course, this is Rhythm is Streets, man. I got a R&B soul legend in the building. When I mean legend, man, this dude is, man, top, top tier. Voice crazy, stage game crazy. Man, I am so pleased to have this brother on the Rhythm and Streets podcast with me, the world famous Raheem Devon, man. Oh, Thank man. you so much. Thank you, Sis, man. I don't know what to say after the intro like that. <laughs> man, listen, man. Look, you in town. Um, yeah. I just went to your show. Uh, oh, you were there. You I made was, it. I was in the building, man. Oh, I was in the building. Okay, all right, cool. And listen, man, listen. Yo, that was my first time. Oh, you were virgin. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, that was you my too, first right here Devon yeah, show. Even men can you be virgins. I've known you at for a show. minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that was my first. Bruh, your show game is different. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. it. It's different. I put I, I put a lot of work into it. You Yo, know what I mean? Um, your stage presence, I mean, the way you bruh. You was running into the crowd. You yeah, had the yeah, roses. Yeah. You had the red suit on, man. I mean, yeah. talk about it. Like, what 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 goes into? I'm I'm feeling a lot of passion with you on stage. Oh bro. yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope you. Hopefully, you feel the passion, equally yoked. You know, with the records. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, um, I'm 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 definitely in my bag on a live tip, and have been for some time. But even more so now, I'm I'm, I'm in a space of like very intentional about ah. what how I want people to feel okay um you know and what I want to resonate and the connection that I want to have you know with the audience especially for someone like yourself on a serious note you know I don't know if you remember there is a part of the show where I mentioned I say hey, how many how if it's the first time seeing me live you know make some noise um it's yeah. a, you know it's a, and, and and what I notice is um at the at the concerts, it's, it's, it's always a lot of people who haven't seen it okay. for the first time. Okay, I mean th that are excuse me seeing it for the first time. Right, you know what I mean. And yeah. then there's a and then there's a large amount of people that that are coming back for more. Right, right. You know what I mean. But the goal is to uh, be able to connect with them in hopes that you know that they keep coming back for more. Right. And more importantly, you know I understand that you know with the economy being what it is mm. and where we are, um, you know in the country and you know, uh, recession and stuff mm. of that nature, you know, yeah. coming out to see a concert is a, is a, is a, is a luxury. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. a, it's a luxury. It's a gift. It's a treat to yourself. You know what I mean? Where you, where you have an opportunity to treat yourself and not cheat yourself. Mm. And, you know, and far too often, you know, there've been shows that I've been to just kind of been in the cut, you know, okay. and feel like I got cheated. You know what I mean? So it's like, ah. you know, so, so, it, you know, it's important to me, um, for, you know, the customer, not to be cliche, to be satisfied, and you know, and 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 I've always been an above and beyond type of cat, you know what I mean? When it comes to like the creativity, yeah, you know, and putting out music, whether it's an album or mixtape or EP, you know, and uh, so it, you know, definitely feel good to be outside. Last 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 weekend of summer, uh. you know, going into fall, yeah, you know, as we start to play more, you know, theaters and indoor venues, you know, yeah, yeah, talk about it, man. Um, you mentioned a little bit about the passion and the intent. Um, I'm gonna tell you something, man, because when I went to the show, like, you kind of like had to remind me, mm -hmm. like, that true. R&B, that true presence. Mm -hmm. I was telling somebody, I was like, yo, I'm watching Raheem Devon, man, and what he was doing on that stage and that energy and that passion, like, like, where does that come from, man? Well, you know, it's the mindset that that although I'm being paid to be there, uh, I'm not there for the bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like at the end of the day, I'm not there for the bag. I'm there for the experience. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, and 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 you know, same thing with you know. I go to the studio. I, half the time I go, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know the assignment. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. I leave, I leave with the assignment. You okay. Know what I mean? But I don't know, the, I don't know the assignment a lot of times. You know, my my um, 
much like the much like the creative process, although there's uh, the stage process, excuse me, is very st- structured. Yeah, like yeah. There's, there's structure. Yeah, yeah. But it's very improvisational though too. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, getting into acting and doing improv classes and mm. stuff of that nature. Mm. You know, feeling feeling like you know natural in that space and, and doing theater. You know, the Love Jones was the last Love Jones musical was the last play that I had an opportunity to be part of. Nice. But just my 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 you know my passion for theater, film, and television is starting to transcend. You know where you you you, you can kind of you don't know that you, you may not know that that's what you're seeing, but um, it's just an improv feeling. You know what I mean? Where it, being able to read the room ah. at all times, whether okay. whether it's in a in, in, in a festival. Or you know smaller intimate crowds. You know I prefer the intimate, the intimacy. But like you know ample theaters, it's just like you know it just it just gives me more space and more people to wow. Mm. You know and create moments. You know throughout the show. Yeah, I mean that that joint was crazy, bro. Running through the roses and you know it was one point <laughs> where you like you was like now. I made it rain. Is what he's, he's trying to, <laughs> to find. Make a, it, yeah. He, he's trying yeah. to. He's trying to find an elegant Dive into way. Dive it. Yeah. To, to, you know what I mean? It's it's some. It's some you know what? Y'all got to come to see this. You got <laughs> some things you just have to come to to experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, even that part of the show was just uh, it's it's you know it's it, man. This is entertainment. It's showtime. It's go time. Mm. You know what I mean? Like when it's when it's showtime, it's go time. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's you know, <laughs> I come from an era, uh, you know, of, of where I you know I studied the greats and mm. and um and, and you know aspiring to be great. Right. Right. As well, you know. Right. And it's just it's it's just, it's just that simple. When it's showtime, it's go time. It's all hands on deck. You know, it's an opportunity to create a um, new family, new fan base. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exposing them some 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 new songs. Um, you know, at, at 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 this period of my career, it's definitely um, you're the second person to tell me that came to that show that that that, that kind of got it. Okay. It's a reintroduction to the music. I feel like you know, in that space of like doing a 60 minute to 75, 90 minute show, right? That I've created or curated the perfect set for um, to wow the people and wow the fans, but also reintroduce them and say, let take them down memory lane. You know, it'll be we're on a countdown to the twenty year anniversary of the love experience. We in eighteen we eighteen year in Congrats. We're, yeah, we're eighteen years in right now. Woo. Um, you know, on the Love Experience um album and the countdown to the twenty, you know, the big twenty year. That's crazy, you know, bro. from two thousand and five up to twenty twenty five. That's know? crazy. Yeah. Talk about the legacy, man. Um, two thousand and five, your debut. Yeah. Um, what is the secret, you know what I mean, of the legacy? Uh, man, it's 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 you know the secret is to is is to be consistent. Consistency is key for me. Mm. You know, um, it's it's to love what you do, to genuinely love it. You know, when you you, you can tell when somebody genuinely loves some uh. or, or just kind of like you know, I mean, and that's whether you're in customer service, you know, working Burger King, or you know, building houses or. You can tell when somebody's just kind of like they're going through the motions, or just like, you know, e- e- even if that's not their, even if this is a pit stop for now, ah, right? And it's not yeah, the yeah. ultimate place that they want to be. Yeah. You can tell that they just happy to be there, or like, hey, right, you right. know what I mean? Just in the energy, um, and 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 I hope that people, you know, again feel that, but also hear the consistency and the growth. Like mm-hmm. I feel myself growing. I feel like I haven't put out. I haven't given the world my best my best tune yet, my best song, mm. you know, um, and, and 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 continuously, you know, I haven't. I was just here in Atlanta, but it's always it's always room for growth. Like I feel like you know, I'm always challenging myself to have like the next best show. Right. You know? People, you as great in this business, you as great as your 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 the last song, right? And body of work, and the and the last time people said eyes on you. Mm. That's 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 the. You know, but the irony of it is, you know, I tell a different artists that I mentor to and, 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 and you know, my peer, and we have these discussions, these creative think tanks about how to become better. Um, and, you know, the music business is the only is the only business, maybe secondhand to film and television, where um, you get countless attempts to reinvent yourself, throw things to the wall and see what sticks. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And... Um, yeah, it's 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 not a it's not a it's not a 
you only get one time to make a first impression business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Talk about, you know, I hear you talk about like, you know, I'm not in it for the bag. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, the name of your tours, Summer Love Tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you speak about, your whole music is everything is about love. Yeah, now we into the fall of love. Now, now it's See? fall of love. See? EP on, EP on the way. <laughs> Coming real soon. I don't know when this when this when this when this airs, but yeah, um, yeah, we 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 you know again last last weekend of summer, and um, entering fall in love. Um, I guess your question is gonna be how it all intertwines. Well, that'll be part two. Okay. But part one, I had Jazzy Faye on, mm -hmm. and I was asking his opinion in music. Yeah. Um, preferably R and B. Yeah. And he was talking about how. He felt like the love was falling out of the music, mm -hmm. and it was a time. It's a, it's a time for a resurgence. Mm -hmm. So here I go. I go to this Raheem Devon show. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing this passion. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing everything built around the Raheem Devon brand is about love, yeah. and you sing about love constantly. Yeah. So I just wanted your opinion mm -hmm. from your perspective mm -hmm. about that subject. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you know I've been very consistent with what I do. You know, it's you know. Hence the, hence the, you know, the, the, the brand and the, you know, the mantra, you know, the love king, you know, now, <laughs> it's the, now it's the love king of soul and R&B, you know, I feel like there's, I feel like they've, I feel like they've always tried to separate me from like, ah. from, from, from R&B culture or, you know, I was just. Why is that? I don't know. Like, I mean, I think that, I think, I think in black music is, we're the only uh, genre, you know, and, and a race of people who allows, you know, uh, Distributors and labels mm. to put put these labels on us that we actually end up running with, you know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 it, it, you know I I just you know you saw me perform of course this weekend um, with with um, with Leela James for example who's right. considered a soul artist, you right. know what I mean? Or right. a, 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 some might even say Southern soul, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then you know but I performed last year with Tank. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who right. is like definitely a, a R and B, right. you know what I mean? Right, like, right, right. You know, legend in his own right. You mm. know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I've always straddled the line of the both. You know, I get what you're saying. I feel, and, and, and a lot of elements. You know, earlier in my career, I was the R and B hippie neo soul rock star. Right, right. You know what I mean? And yeah, that, yeah. And and that and that really came about from just being like frustrated and feeling like. Feeling like the powers that be were just trying to pigeonhole me to urban AC radio, ah, and not urban radio. So that never was the plan. No, that never was the plan for me. Ah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, for whatever reason, that's that's where that. I, I, well, I won't say for whatever reason. I think the 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 the, the level, the, the the you know, the high level of the, of the music, the musicality. Mm. The, you know, with records like Guess Who Loves You More and a live instrumentation, ah, even yeah. though there was, you know, even though it had the, you know, it had the, 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 the sample or, you know what I mean? Like, I think that people just, you know, you it, 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 they try to put you in this box where you gotta be one or the other, <laughs> you know? And I feel like, you know, I love, I love rock music. I love hip hop. I love all these different elements, mm. you know what I mean? And I hope that, um, that when people listen to the music, to the entire catalog, not one hour, won't skip through a song, what have you, you know what I mean? Like when you listen to the entire catalog, only then are you able to understand like who I am, what I am, and where this is headed. You know? mm. Um, so I'm si I'm hearing them you talk about the whole experience, like, do you feel like there's a gap in it? Not for me. Okay. You know, I feel like it, you know, I feel like because I'm very focused, you know, and 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 put in those hours, you know, in the studio and put the hours in on stage, mm. you know, um, it's allowed me to become a master of what I do. Mm. You know, always new things I can learn, you know, new techniques. You okay. Know, and uh, and definitely I'm about working um, smarter and not harder. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um. So it, so although it may look like I'm the hardest working man, <laughs> you know, like. Like you know, but it's, it's a lot of chill time. Yeah, it's we're not too. You <laughs> I, know mean, I mean, it's a balance. Yeah, it's a balance. Yeah. It's a balance. You know, you know yeah. what I mean. Like getting that rest, getting that sleep, all those things, all the things is you know, it's important. You know, um, but yeah, it, it, it's you know, I'm hoping that people see the growth, like ah. hear the growth, hear ah. hear it in the records, you know, um, hear it and see it on stage. You know, mm. I I can personally say that I that I um, that I have, you mm. know, and and I know what I'm. 
I know I know what I'm I know what I'm striving for, you know, and yeah, what yeah. I'm trying to achieve every time that I'm out there, you know. Talk about you said that Raheem Devon's greatest moment has not come yet. Yeah, nah. I mean, you know, the story is still being written. Okay. You know? Um, but, you know, I'm one of those people who doesn't have a concept of time and understands that, you know, only thing that really matters is right now. Right, right. Because because we can talk about the future, but the future really don't exist. It's all about the journey. Yeah, the, yeah, the journey is what is this. You know, yeah. the future doesn't exist for any of us. Ah. We can make plans for we can make plans for next week and not be here. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, you know, so everything is about high level, high volume energy. You know, um, you know, you you're as great as your you know in my world. You're as great as the last song and body of work that you put out. You're as great as the last performance that people see. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's 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 one thing it's one thing to um, feel the pressure of outside looking in, or, or comparing your life to what you see. You know, me seeing what another artist is is getting paid or or riding in or you know <laughs> all of the all of the things. You know, um, and it's you know on social media, and then it's another thing for me to to know who I am, know who I'm not. Mm. You know, and to and to know and to know when I'm on a know when you want a, a wave and know and know and know how to ride it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you ever had those moments of pressure? I think we all have moments of pressure and doubt. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think the moments of pressure and doubt and um and insecurities are for when you in your own you in your own head you in your you in your own head in your own space. You know what I'm saying? Where you can get in the front of the mirror in the crib and have that pep talk. You right, know? right. Um, you know, if you if you're blessed to have a significant other, you know, uh, have somebody ha you know in your ear. You know, make sure you have the right team around you. Mm. You know what I mean? But like, but you know, this is no business for the for for, for the week. You know what I mean? Ah, like you know. So when I'm so once I you know, have I had that give myself them pep talks? Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 remind myself. Yeah, you know, it's the power of like pushing all negative thoughts out of your mind at, mm. at like constantly like how often like constantly every day like yeah definitely yeah uh, i mean cuz you know the negativity can seep in you know what i mean so yeah you know that's the power of affirmations and 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 but just but it's also it's the power of knowing like you know i I've, I've, I've graduated from belief to, to like to believing mm. that 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 i can be one of the greats ah uh. to believing i'm one of the greats of my generation to, to knowing that like i know that you know what i mean and you know my pedigree, my you know, my my work is gonna speak for that. My catalog is gonna speak for that. Mm. When I step on any stage and touch any stage, it's gonna speak for that. <laughs> like it's just, that's just that's just law. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. When did you know, like, when did Raheem know his purpose in life? Oh man, I found out. I, I found out. I really can say I came in tune with my purpose. Uh, during during the downtime that we had during the lockdown and the pandemics. So not too long ago. Yeah, not too long ago. Okay. 20, 2019, 20, 2020 for sure. You know, it took me all of those years, you know, from from to become a master. Mm. What, what was I, it at, like at, 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 at what I do, you know what I mean? So what, what what was the situation that created it? I think it was just the downtime and just getting in the self. You know, I had a period of time where 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 I was abstinent, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, yeah, I just kind of just completely shut down from everything. Was like, this like a spiritual fat, fat, journey? Or? Oh, definitely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, dive into like it, man. Yeah, yeah, spiritual journey, fasting, ah, praying, meditating, ah, you know, um, cleansing my body, cleansing my mind, being really strategic about what I what I let my you know my eyes and ears, mm. you know, what I'm saying touch. And, and and get a hold of you know. Tell me about some of those things, like with, with the eyes and the ears. Nah, it's so I'm, funny you talk about this because, like, I know exactly what yeah, you're talking I mean, about. I mean, I mean, you just you are you are what you are you are you know the, the saying you are what you eat. You are who you 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 the company you keep. Mm. You are what you ingest. You the music that you listen to. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, in some form of fashion, you're gonna be indoctrinated in some wow. in, in some way. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um, you know, and knowing that it's like, and, and knowing that you then you understand the power and the gift of your, of your gift. You know what I mean? Oh. And how you want and how you choose to use it. You know what I mean? Ah. Like you know, we all got the same gift. We all magical beings. You know what I mean? It's just it's just in terms of how we choose to use it. Mm. You know. Talk about 
I'm hearing you talk about the, you know, utilizing the power of your gift and mm -hmm. uh, talk about the importance of like your messaging uh, in, in, in the lyrics. Yeah, for me, you know, for me, it's always, I, I just always wanted to make music that just uplifts and shows women in a different light, the mm. black women in particular. Yeah. You know, I'm, 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 I, I know how to, you know, I know how to uh, enjoy what I see though from an entertainment standpoint and okay. know that and know that know that it don't have to be, you know, my lifestyle per se. You know what I mean? Okay. Everybody ain't, you know, common sense. We live in a we live on a planet where common sense ain't common though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, most people are cheap and wanna be you know, they they, they wanna be told or they wanna be on the their hamster wheel in the ant farm. Ah. You know what I mean? So um when you different like me, you know, it's gonna it's gonna hit different. It's gonna be, you know, it might it might be even a little, you know, people may be <laughs> there may be a little reserved, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, you know, I like to think that, you know, even when I make my my sexiest record or, or provocative or mannish and it's grown and mannish, it is still, you know, even parts of the show, what have you, where it still uh, feels like tasteful art. Mm. You know what I mean? Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but you know everything has its everything has its has its place. You know you know what I mean. And I, at the end of the day, I'm not here to judge anybody on what they do musically and what right, right, frequency right. they they choose to be on. You right. know what I mean. It all it all is cohesive to the ecosystem of what we need. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Because yeah, if I step in the club. <laughs> You, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I'm in a club and I'm in the right atmosphere, or if I'm, or if I'm at I'm, if I'm in Atlanta and I'm in a strip club, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Right, right. It's a certain it's a certain frequency that's going that's going to serve its purpose. Right. That's there. Yeah. You know, just like if I'm at church on Sunday morning. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to be a, it's, it's it's a certain frequency that that serves its purpose. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's just really just understanding it, and um, and and you know, aspiring to inspire. You know, I think, I think, I think, um, you know, the hustle is what it, it can be attractive. Okay. You know what I mean? What or you the, mean? Like, like define that. Well, I mean, just like the, the I, I hope that, you know, for the artists that's watching or I hope that I, they're inspired by the way that I work and the ah. way that I move. Ah. You know what I mean? And see, yeah. and, and they see the hard work, you know, um, I've been, I've been more, I probably been more transparent in, in, since the pandemic than I ever was like social media in terms of like showing mm. the experience of, yeah. you know, creating the song from conception. Okay. To then mixing it, mastering it, mastering the record, you know, then to, and then releasing it and then right. performing it for the first time. Right. You know what I mean? So, um, and, 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 and the fans, music lovers, you know they 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 seem to take to it and really appreciate it and love it. You know. Yeah, man, that's dope. Um, I'm thinking about like when you was talking about. So you take these experiences. Wherever you, you said your frequency is, it, that's how you apply it to your songwriting and your song creation. Yeah, well, you know. It's one of the things you have to see it to believe it. I don't physically write things down. Mm. You know what I mean. So it's kind of like you know jumping on the live the first time and do it ever was like it felt weird wait 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 hold up say this again jump on the live yeah so I, so I, so I, so like you know on any given night i'm in the studio i'll be on the live like literally ah showing the vibe like yeah, yeah. pull a beat up go in the booth yeah take them in the booth with me like you know be on the ig for two hours of shut down <laughs> go back live again yeah you know what i mean and like show them like they like they're, they're there the entire time, like, yo, this is crazy. Like, oh, the art. Like, you know, knock out the hook, whatever my process is, you know, and just kind of just um, let them hang out. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and you know, um, because, you know, it's somebody out there that needs to see that, you know, mm. probably, you know? Yeah. Um, to just see the experience and see, you know, when, when, when it comes, you know, it come, it, when it comes, from me, it doesn't come necessarily from me, but more so through me. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, for me to <laughs> be selfish with the gift, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, um, 
And then they and then they and then they see that it's like you know it's not 20, 30 people in the room. It's just me and the engineer. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know. And um, that's how that's that's how it's that's how it's been most of my, you know, most of my career. Um, you know, you were talking about some influences, and then when I saw you perform, um, you did Purple Rain. Yeah. Which was crazy. Yeah. Um, and that is not a hard, you know what I'm saying, song to emulate. And your falsetto game was crazy. Yeah. yeah. You also played uh, the Osley Brothers, Janet yeah. Jackson. Yeah. And um, talk about your influences, man. Yeah, yeah. That You know, that's a part of the show where, you know, we want to pay homage to the greats. We, we mix it up, right. you know, um, a lot of times, you know, and... Uh, so that's what it, that's what it was given for Atlanta, though, you know. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, you know, when you talk about um, my influences, definitely would be Marvin Gaye, mm. Prince Roger Nelson, you know, the Ozzy Brothers. Mm. Um, man, so many. <laughs> so you know, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Right. You know, uh, Aretha Franklin. Um, if you want to talk about the '90s, you know, mm. Babyface. Yeah. You know, um, Joe to see Devontae as a producer and songwriter. Um, mm. uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot, man. <laughs> you know, Chuck, Chucky Thompson, ah. um, you know, late great Chucky R. R. Thompson, who was, yeah. yeah, who was like, you know, the the backbone of, 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 of you know, Bad Boy and his, right. his prime, you know, it's really set the tone or the, or the, or the mark for, um, what you know when you became a hitman what it needed to be right right what it needed to be given you know what it needed to feel like you know uh yeah so just to name a few of course like you know puff and that whole era mm. of r b that he get you know gave us through bad boy that whole you know, 90s yeah jermaine dupree yeah yeah you know what i mean like yeah so you know it, again you know th those are a lot of different of the influences and i hope that you know when people you know, when they come to the show, they appreciate that. You know, <laughs> I try to. I, I definitely don't want to overkill. Right, right. It's like you know, at the end of the day, people are not paying you to come out. Right. You see and cover. Nah, it wasn't overkill at yeah, all. You know, like, it, it was. It's, it's, it's more. It's more about timing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything is about the timing for me. You know, when it, when you know, and I know we're talking about the live thing a lot, but yeah. it's so important. It's so vital. You know. Yeah. That, you know, it, 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 what happens on that stage makes or breaks. Yeah, your career it it, it it dictates the longevity. Yeah, or the shortcomings. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you why. Um, you said we talking about the live thing a lot is because, you know. The, the contrast with, recording. Yeah. And then going and performing. Yeah, it's two different. Yeah, it's two different. It's two different magic tricks. Yeah, and yeah. one thing like the greats always master, mm -hmm. both sides. This is him at like 15, 16, 17 years old. That's crazy. Playing multiple instruments. Crazy. Writing his entire record, mm. recording it himself, mixing and mastering it. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Dictating what the artwork would be. You know what I mean? It's a lot like, of things. Yeah, that's a different kind of. Yeah. That's a different kind of. You know, creativity and and artistry. But that's like you know from, you know he figured it out. Young, like he knew. You know he knew what he wanted to be. He How old were you when you figured it out? Um. I probably said like eighty four, yeah, nineteen eighty four. I knew I was gonna be doing. I knew I was gonna be doing this like nineteen eighty four. Wow. Even if I never shared it with nobody else. Okay. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, seeing, seeing, seeing. You know, uh, was it Motown twenty five? I believe at the time. Ah, the Michael Jackson joint. You know, like, yeah. The moonwalk. Not being, I mean, I, I think, I think for any, I think for any young adult child that's in the business that I'm in. Mm. At that time, yeah, they probably made the decision the same night that I did. Ah, uh, that's what I'm going. <laughs> it might not be like that, right? But that's what I'm going to be doing. Right. You know? I, 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 me look, me watching Purple Rain for the first time mm. as a child, like not supposed to be, you know, sneaking, sneaking to watch it, sneaking to listen to the album. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you know, the the uncut Purple Rain too. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if I ever caught that. <laughs> oh, they got a uh, cut. Yeah, it's two different cuts. Oh. But yeah, man, like I just knew, like I just knew that this was this was just like you get that itch. Ah. You know what I mean? Like that's that's why I'm gonna be doing that. <laughs> what know? was Raheem Devon's biggest challenge in his career? My biggest challenge has been um to 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 hear people to be in the conversations and hear people say that I'm probably, if not the most underrated or one of the most underrated artists of my generation mm. and humbly just be like, all right, all right, yeah, that's cool, but maybe, maybe it's just a lot of overrated content out there though, you know what I mean? Right. Maybe, 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 Maybe they had access to the marketing tools I didn't. Maybe they, ah. you know, maybe they, you know, you know what I mean? So many maybe, 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 you know what I mean? At the end of the day, though, what I had to realize is that um, and find a solace in the fact that I am who I am. My name is my name. I, I provide a very unique style, vibration, vibration and energy to uh. to what it is you know to the to, to what i you know in this business of what i do in soul and r&b so you know once i once i rig it was it was it was it was understanding who i am and who i'm not mm. you know once you figure that part out and you know your lane yeah you get in and you just you know you can ride it like a tesla so when you said finding out who you are and who you weren't like what were the things that you realized that you weren't um, when I say when I say things that I'm not, I'm more I'm more just saying that you know you have to your success in your life is about how you measure it. Mm. It's not about no comparison. It's not about the comparisons ah. and what you know and and or chasing the fool's goal or <laughs> or or what somebody else's blueprint ah necessarily is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that you know with social media and just all the all the, diff the different distractions that we have ah. or the pressures of you know it could just be it could just simply be the wrong person that's in your ear on your team mm. telling you man you need to do it like you know what i'm saying you need to be you need to you need to be doing it like so and so like, da -da -da -da. Mm. like it could just be the wrong person advising you got you you know yeah you got to trust your gut you mm. got to trust your instinct you know um your your your, your gut that's the voice of God, like, you know, Talk typically, to me. yeah, 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 you know, talking to you, you know what I mean, like, you, know, you know what I mean, yeah. And typically, when you don't, when you don't uh, adhere to that, then that's when you gotta live, the t you know, get the tough lessons. Ah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Hit yeah. your head a couple of times, you know what I mean? Bob and weave. Was there every one lesson that like <laughs> bopped you on nah, the head nah, real nah, hard? Nah, nah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, man, we, you know, we, we. I, th I believe we all shadow box with ourselves at one time or another. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know that ain't for the that ain't for the world to see. Okay. You know Got what I'm saying? At one. the end of the day, the all the world sees is the end result. Mm. They don't know the they don't know the they don't know the 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 the, the blood, sweat, and tears 
or the fuckery <laughs> that, go, that went into that went into creating that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know, for me, it's about the blood, sweat, and tears, mm. and making sure that at the end of the day, long as I'm not doing anything that 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 you know challenges. You know, where I have to question myself, my moral compass, mm. you know what I mean, my spirituality, whatever, my 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 knowing, um, you know, then, you know, I'm cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm cool, man. I love it. We got the yeah. legend in the building, Raheem Devon, man. You talking about, um, I, I'm hearing you talking about this, the comparisons or um, the underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that... That serves as an inspiration for you. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's been the driving. It's been a driving force, because, you know, I already got in my mind. I'm like, my name gonna come up in the conversation. Mm. We we'll talking about high level, great soul and R and B music. Mm. If we talking about touring, if we mm. talking about festivals, mm. like. My name gonna be in the conversation, right? Unless I decide to just, you know, <laughs> until the creator decide differently, you know what I mean? Father yeah. time decides differently. Like I, in my mind, it's gonna be in the conversations. And at this pace, at the pace I'm working now, it may be in the conversation three times a year, two times a year, mm. five times a year. <laughs> it really just depends on, you know, um, what I want to do and where we're going with it, and you know what projects we're working on, and right. you know. Uh, you know that, that 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 so forth and so on. You know what I mean. But mm -hmm. you know, I do understand that we're in a microwave era of music. Ah. I don't let anybody rush my process, and I don't feel a, you know I don't feel the need to um, to have to put out music a lot. Mm. But I'm just on a rhythm, and I just understand. I understand. I understand how this whole thing worked now. You know ah. what I mean. And I'm like, you know, I'm in I'm in the same space that Nas is in right now with hip hop. I love it. Yeah. That's where I'm at with soul and R and B okay. right now. All right. So it's a plethora of music coming. Yeah. It's a lot of projects coming. Yeah. It's a lot. We moving around. We outside. You know? It, it feels like real free. Like it does like like I said, you you balancing out the projects. Um, you balancing out the touring. Yeah. And it's like it's no like, oh, this is when it's it's like, nah, this is what Raheem is doing here. Yeah, and and it, this is gonna happen. And it don't have to stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't got to stop, man. You know, it's um, I, I you know, I, I, I do these pep talks with my, you know, these pep talk TED talks with my crew. Okay. It's a very small, you know, machine. You know what I mean? People may from the outside looking in, I know what it's looking like, you know, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, you know, it's very, very organized, very, you know, calculated moves we making. Got you. You know. Definitely room to grow, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, you know, but yeah, I'm 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 the driving force behind it. You know Got what you. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, the way I met you, shout out my man Cat. Yeah, shout out to Big Cat. Uh, we did a Rhythm and Streets mixtape, yeah, Jacket yeah. for Beats. Yeah, and um, you know, my platform, um, this platform right here was built off the mixtapes, and yeah. um, and my career, you know, mixtapes is what broke me. In fact, you know. I'm, I was the first singer, soul singer, R and B singer to make mixtapes. You, you hear know? it, yeah, like to go, <laughs> yeah, like to, to to see, to see that become like the blueprint, yeah, for, you know, because I I I I I I, you know, I I was influenced by you know hip hop community, you know, so Fifty Cent, Mike Jones, right, you right, know, the, them two right there, yeah like really gave me the blueprint for like yo I'm about to do the mixtape. <laughs> you know, I even had the, I even had the next tail the burnout with the with the phone number and the, wow. and, and, and the whole nine, you know. Um yeah, so to be able to um to be able to say it, you know, coin that and 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 to see how that has become the template for the music business now, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. It's is 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 wild to watch it unfold, you know. Where do you think that will evolve at this point today. Like you well, still I, gonna be I, dropping them, or how's that gonna work? You know, I took man. I stop. I honestly stopped, stopped making the mixtapes. One, they stopped servicing out the instrumentals. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like I, 
I, you know, I, I, we laugh and joke at the studio and say, they, they say I'm the reason that they stop <laughs> <laughs> So, so it's really more like an EP it's a, or whatever. It's, it's, yeah, instrumentals and stuff like that. But like, and then the frequency changed, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a lot of the stuff that I was, that I was jacking, it was like hip hop. Right. You know what I mean? The frequency changed. Some, the, the, the tone got a little darker, you know what I'm saying? In some areas, um, you know, some of my favorite artists that I, that I would love, you know, Jack and the beat, they stopped making music. <laughs> Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, they went, you know, you know, so, um, so, and, 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 you know, and let me say this, you know, when I did, when I, when I was jacking for beats, right, it was, it was actually like a, like a kudos or a compliment, like a hats off, you know, it's, 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 it's real easy to take to somebody, a, re a record that everybody already knows that's a hit mm. and do your, do your interpreta interpretation, interpretation of it. You know your remix or whatever to it. You know yeah. what I mean. That's easy to do. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really started to focus on myself and and and, and you know what I mean. Yeah. And, and and the creativity of like me getting better and and you know figuring out where I wanted to go with album. You know, number two, number three, number four, number five, six, so forth and so on. You know what I mean. Got you. Yeah. Um, I heard you talking about with your team. You have like these TED talks. Mm -hmm. And I heard you say you do a lot of mentoring and building. Um, uh, what's Raheem's like advice to like? Man, um, invest in yourself. Mm. You know, um, be be you know, be the label. You know, find a great distro situation. Shout out to the United Masters. You know, that's 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 currently you know where um, a lot of the masters that I own right now. You Got know, you. I moved over there. You know, and um, I just love their system. Okay. You know. Yeah, yeah. I love what's going on over there, yeah. and it's, 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 you know, I love the, I love the, um, the, just, just the way that everything is just like you can keep up with everything. Yeah, the and back, the back office. Yeah. Setup of everything. And you like the CEO, uh, like it's more like because when you started, you was, you know, you were signed to a major label. Yeah, Jive Records. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then now it's, it, you know, you like how it's evolved. Yeah, oh, for sure. And when I started, to be transparent, when I started, I started out as an independent artist. You know, I was in a few groups, always pursuing, uh, you know, a solo gotcha. R&B, soul music career. You know, and even when I signed with Job back in 2002, I, um, I, 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 I still moved like an independent artist. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean, yeah. I had the mentality of an independent artist. Right. I moved, I had an advantage, you know, from doing the mixtapes, I had an advantage from like being, you know, being in the, being in the streets and just jumping off the porch. Where it's like I knew <laughs> I had to musically, I had to do it myself. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. From selling mixtapes to out the trunk and just the whole nine. You know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Just kind of just really understanding it, and um, and it was always always my goal to be back. You know, be independent. It happened a lot quicker and sooner mm. than I anticipated. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was a blessing in disguise, um, but when it happened, I wasn't ready. Mm. You know, that, 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 that saying, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Yeah, yeah. It's so important, you know. <laughs> if I'd known the stuff that I know now. Right. And, and, you know, and figured out and learned over the, over the years, um, I would have moved, I would have, I would have known the value of what I was sitting on at like, you know, during that period of like 2010 through 2013. Mm. Um, because truth be told, I've been, I've been an independent artist since January 1st, two, 2011. Wow. That's wow. when I became an independent <laughs> artist, you know? Wow. And then, and then you go through the system of, like, figuring off the term of the one-offs. Right, right. Doing one-offs here and right. stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, I kind of, like, got burnt out on that because, you know, you never really get a full commitment yeah, yeah, from yeah. the distributor. I know what you're you know saying. What I'm saying? Yeah. And, and if you ain't careful with, like, what's happening with the master or ah. if you're taking an advance, you really don't lead it. Ah. You know, it just like bars. You gotta be careful with that. You know, you, you you start feeling like like you hoeing yourself out. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like you know, so if you're not gonna be somewhere where, you know, where you got the right partnership in place, mm. and you know, you might as well just be you know bet on yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm definitely at that period in my life as an artist where I'm able to bet on myself and you know make very smart, calculated decisions. You know, investing back into myself, mm. and um, and not you know, and not not be on a hamster wheel. Right. You know, we got the legend in the building, man. Um, 
course, you born in Jersey, but you grew up PG. Yeah, the area. DMV. Yeah, DMV. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to PG, MoCo, <laughs> DC, VA, yeah. DMV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you got a go-go band, right? I do. The, yeah. crank, the crank Crusaders. Yeah. Talk about it. Oh, man, you're doing, you're doing your research. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know, it's, 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 it's I'm having so much fun. With, you know, with the Crank Crusaders, um, you know, it gives me something to do when I'm home. Mm. Um, you know, it feels good to be able to kind of pick and choose, like, when I want to leave the city. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because I, we can do Crank Crusader gigs, and, you know, sometimes the travel can be gruesome and stuff like that. Mm. Um, you know, so, you know, being able to be home more. and, um, and but, but also, you know, being able to... Um, Contribute to the game in a way that I, that, that 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 artists like myself haven't, mm. and I'm I'm looking hopefully to, you know, get some ears, on 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 GoGo and on the community mm. that might not have been checking for it, you know, because of my brand and because I because I who I am to the world outside of, you know, um, DC, you know, um, just did a front porch performance, you know, saw the front that porch, shout out to, shout to my little nephew uh, Nucci, fire, and, yeah, and. Um, yeah, like so that 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 DC played and the DMV have played a major role in, you know, the performer that I that I become and the GoGo community. Ah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you can't be, you know, ain't no, it, ain't no. It, it's it's about performing. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's yeah. always been about the performance. You yeah. know what I mean? Like what the records sound like or whether it's on the radio is always secondary to like. What the band is gonna sound like uh, live in person, what you, what you, you know, uh, and people first, you know, before before the world knew my name, you know, I connected with, I I, I won people over from going to open mics, mm. like you know what I mean, yeah, from going to open mics, shedding, and actually like winning money, like wow. competing against poets. MCs, wow. singers, musicians, <laughs> whoever wanted to put their head, they, 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 they. <laughs> so I come from that, you know. I come from that, ah. you know, in terms of, uh, you know, that where it just happened, you know, in DC, mm. and going out and watching, you know, um, Rare Essence, you know, yeah, exactly. RE, you know, Backyard Band, yeah, you know, um, those were my, those were my like jump off the porch moments. Ah. My first, my first go go was Rare Essence. <laughs> and Miss Kim, yeah, you know what I mean. All right, I know it. Yeah, yeah. so so, uh, you know, I didn't I, I didn't go to the go go and stuff like that when I was, you know, my mother ran a tight ship, so I couldn't really get out the house gotcha, to go yeah, to be yeah. to be, you know, <laughs> to, to, to go to go, you know, to, to, to the different uh, venues and what have you. So my first go go probably was like at like maybe twenty twenty one. Oh wow, you know what I'm saying? Nineteen twenty twenty one. Ah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I and I, and the first night I'm turned out to the experience. <laughs> I just it was just it was just I had never seen anything like that before. It's a wrap. And then and then and then to be, and then to see the crowd, the amount of people they're bringing in. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, summer of love. You just got out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summer love. We dropped the summer love EP. Yeah. Um, you know, on the first day of summer, and although summer has 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 gone. You know the music is still banging. It's a time. It's definitely. I would like to say it's a timeless body of work. You yeah. know, um, it's a thirty-minute euphoric, eclectic soul and R&B ride. Yes. You know. Yeah. Um, and uh, and right now I'm, I'm actually re remixing the entire album for "Fall in Love." You know, wow. Which is which is "Fall coming. in Love." Fall in love. That's crazy. Fall in love yeah. is on the way. Okay, you know, what and I mean? then the tour continues. Yeah, the tour continues. We yeah. flip it. You know, we go. You know, we, you know, um, I'm the spot date king. You know what I mean? Hey, look, you know, bro, you, you know, you know like, spot like, dates. I, I seen your yeah, lineup. Yeah, man. yeah. So, so you know, so in some cases, it's cheaper to just kind of just you know, do your tours and just kind of like, right. You know, and not and a tour sounds sexy. Until, yeah, yeah, I until, got you. You know, a full fledged tour sounds sexy. Yeah, yeah. Until you, you got to figure out the offsetting of like the tour buses, right, the sprinters, right, right, right. You know what yeah. I mean? The trailers. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> the pyro and, the, and you know, the, you know the digital screens and yeah. just like you know all the hotels. Yeah. Like you know, you can look up and and, and um, you know and be like, oh, this is what it paid out. This is what oh, this is what I get. Left. You low key dropping it's a left. lot of jewels. It's not, <laughs> wait, I, 
<laughs> oh man, I need to start acting. I could just go do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, you know, I'm just to be transparent, man, I'm just starting to really see the fruits of the labor, you know what I'm saying? And still it's still, but again, it's just not it's not, you know, I bet on me before I bet on somebody else. Right. And, you know, never let the money, you know, money is not the motivation. You know ah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you're doing something you love, mm. the money will start chasing you. You'll be able to, do, you'll be able to yay and nay, decline the things you want to do, jump mm. on the things that you do want to mm. do, you know, and more importantly, you'll get your value and your worth. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, which is always important, you know? So outside of music, Mm -hmm. What else can we expect? Oh man, definitely some. Um, you know, the strike is going on right now. I had a a movie role that I just accepted. You know, they just did the deal. They oh, just oh, we good. It just happened today. Oh, we lit. It just happened. Oh, I've been, I've been, man. We, look, we've been, we've been, you know, we've been moving around, doing a lot of press and stuff today. So that's yeah, yeah. That's great news to hear. Yeah, you know, um, I'm involved in, I'm involved in a few projects. Some, okay. some, some of you know things I can't necessarily speak on because of NDAs and stuff like right, that. Right. But, but. But yeah, man, you can look to see me definitely, you know, on the big screen, film, television stuff. Um, you know, hopefully some a dope series that lasts for six seasons, you nice. know, man, or more. Yeah. And um, and and then and then of course and then of course you know there's always the music component of scoring things and you yeah. know different projects and writing yeah. on different projects and soundtracks and stuff of that nature. You know. I love it, man. Uh, the King. The legend. Oh, thank you so he, much. He, he's man. in the building, man, and I appreciate it. The world famous Raheem Devon, man. Yes, sir, man. Give it up. Love, love. <laughs> Trend setup. Trend setup. Trend setup.